So what we're going to do is we're going to make this area model evolve into what's called the distributed property multiplication. Remember, that was multiplying through addition. So Troy 3 times 41, that can actually be modeled using a rectangle. Because remember, the area of rectangle is a multiplication problem. So if I want to, I can put the uh, 23 here and the 41 here. But remember what I can do is break that into another rectangle. So this is like something you probably wouldn't have to do. You can skip this step, skip this step over here and go straight to this one. So what I can do is with my rectangle is I can partition it. So I don't like that 23 and I don't like that 41. What's friendlier to me is having instead of a 23 is a 20 by three or 20 plus three, make it to 23. And then 41 is just this 40 plus this one. So I can find the area of this um, rectangle to actually multiply these two numbers together. Who would have thought? So I can actually change the location problem into a rectangle problem partition the rectangle into smaller rectangles and do those basic math problems. So 20 times 40 would be eight and then two zeros, 800. 20 times one would be 21. I'm sorry, 20 times one would be 20. And then this is a three times 40 would be 120. And then three times um, one, would be three. So what we pick up on is when I do this math, you know, eight hundred plus twenty is going to be eight hundred and twenty. hundred and twenty plus three is hundred twenty three. And then if we add that together, we get nine hundred forty three. So twenty three times forty one would just be nine hundred forty three, which is the same thing as the area of this rectangle. The area of the rectangle would also be 943 because remember, area is determined by location. So, those are uh, interesting thought processes as we move forward. Now, what happens though is in math, 23 times 41 can be broken into what's called the distributive property. So, the 23 can actually be broken into a 20 and a 3. And then the 41 can be broken into a 40 and a 1. And the way the distributed property works here, it's very similar to the area of the rectangle. So the way this works is we're going to multiply this 20 through both addition pieces over here to start with. So that's going to be 20 times 40. And then we're going to add to that, there's that plus sign there, 20 times 1. And then we turn to the 3 and we distribute the 3 through both of those addition pieces. So then the 3 takes its turn through the 40 and the 1. So the 3 times the 40 comes into the problem. And the three times the one comes into the problem. So if we do the math, 20 times 40 would be 800. Tw 
20 times 1 to be 20. And 3 times 40 is 120. And then 3 times 1 would be 3. So say you have this again, 820 plus 123 by adding groups. And then that's going to turn into 943. So that same problem can actually be done without a rectangle. It can just be done using the distributor property to do that multiplication. And so this is going to guide us into what we call the shortcut. 